start. Hi guys, today's lesson is about the trial balance. As you know, this is the format of the trial balance which we use for our module. At the top you need to have a heading, which I have not put, but you have to say trial balance of the name of the business and then the date as well. Okay, then you have a column on the right side for debit and credit. And right at the bottom of the trial balance, underneath your debit and your credit columns, you should know that you need to have totals at the bottom which is going to be equal. Okay? Another important factor in the trial balance is the separation of the sections. So at the top of your trial balance, you're going to have the financial position section. Or financial position account section. Then you will list all of your accounts which is part of that section. And then you'll have the nominal account section or income statement account section. And you'll list all of the accounts which go with that section. So which accounts go where? Okay, in the financial position account section, you have assets, liabilities, the capital and the drawings. Those are the four types of accounts which go here and it needs to be listed one underneath the other. So you're going to have all of your assets, all of your liabilities, your capital, and your drawings. Okay, remember you can't just put a category called assets, you need to list every single asset. Okay, and under nominal account section, you're going to have all of your incomes and all of your expenses. Again, you can't write it just like that. You need to list each and every single income and each and every single expense. Okay, another thing now to remember is on which side the amounts go. Okay, so if you have an asset, does it go on the debit or on the credit side? Again, you use your dead click. Okay, so dead click is something that you need to remember when doing the trial balance as well. Okay, you can watch the video on the ledger accounts to understand what dead click means. Okay, so all your assets will have balances on the debit side because it's part of the debt group. All your liabilities will have balances on the credit side because it's part of the click group. Your capital will have a balance on the credit side and your drawings total will be on the debit side. And then if you come to your nominal account section, all your incomes will have balances on the credit side and all your expenses will be listed on the debit side. Once you're done listing all of your accounts with your amounts, right at the bottom of your trial balance, you have to add up the columns. You're going to add up everything on the debit side, put the total in there. You add up everything on the credit side, you put the total in there. And those two totals need to be the same. That's it for trial balance.